Good morning, committee members. Uh, welcome to the Tuesday, June 16th Regional Transportation Committee meeting. Thank you all for attending. Uh, the second item, public comments. Uh, Ms. Stevens, uh, do we have any public comments at this time? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute everyone now, just in case there's anyone on the phones. Uh, and just a reminder, if you are on the phone, please hit star six to unmute yourself. So we'll just see if there's anyone on the phones first. Okay, doesn't sound like we're hearing anyone, uh, but we do have a hand raised. It looks like um, our first public comment is from Maureen McKenna. Maureen, uh, you will have three minutes, and at the end of three minutes, I will ask you to make your closing statement. So uh, Maureen, you should be unmuted and able to speak. Great, you can all hear me? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Stevens. Uh, hello, Mr. Chair, yeah. committee members, and Vision Zero project team. This is Maureen McKenna with Bicycle Colorado, as well as the Denver Streets Partnership. We're grateful for the board's decision last month to add an explicit goal of zero in Dr. Cog's Vision Zero plan and to address a target date during the Metro Vision process next year. We look forward to seeing the plan officially adopted today with a goal that honors Vision Zero principles. I'm also here to reiterate Another of our concerns about the plan that recent events have underscored, enforcement. As you've surely witnessed, the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and others have called attention to unjust practices and systemic racism embedded in law enforcement and the criminal justice system. This extends to traffic enforcement. We know that people of color are disproportionately likely to be pulled over in a traffic stop. We also know that those stops are more likely to escalate to violence. I raise these points to ensure that they are on your minds at Dr. Cog and that you are thinking holistically about what it will take to truly make our roads safe for everyone, especially black and brown individuals whose personal safety is too often overlooked. This is something many of us who move through public spaces privileged white citizens take for granted. Bicycle Colorado and the Denver Streets Partnership raised concerns about the emphasis on enforcement in the plan during the drafting stages. For example, targeted enforcement remains listed as a countermeasure across area types. And this enforcement is encouraged along the high injury network, which is often where communities of color live and where these residents have seen few investments in safe street design, if any. Enforcement is not a pillar of Vision Zero. And relying on its stra this strategy in lieu of, of proactive measures like street design is harmful, as the Vision Zero network reminded us last week. We feel that enforcement in the plan and statements encouraging, quote, empathy and enforcement warrant more attention and reflection. If Dr. Cog chooses not to make further changes to the plan, we urge you to focus attention on racial equity issues as it works with member governments to, to implement it. Dr. Cog should be a convener of these governments and work together toward eliminating the disproportional impact traffic enforcement has on the personal safety of people of color. The group must take, ask tough questions and collectively take action to challenge the status quo. Do we need people with guns enforcing traffic violence? How can Dr. Cog collaborate with local governments on data collection to illuminate the racial injustices of current enforcement practices? How can local governments prioritize a proactive systems level approach instead of reacting? How can you hold leaders accountable for promoting, for promoting traffic safety in an equitable way? The Metro Vision Plan also lists enforcement as a means to achieve a safe, reliable, and well-maintained transportation system. We urge Dr. Cog to revisit what it means to include enforcement in its strategic plan with the updates next year. Please consider our organization's partners as Dr. Cog takes steps to address all of the meanings of safety on our roads and how we can better protect our communities of color. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McKenna. I appreciate your comments. Ms. Stevens, do we have any, Sorry, uh, <laughs> we have any additional um, members who would like to make public comment? Um, at this time, I'm not seeing any other hands raised. Um, what I'll go ahead and do is just mute everyone again. Uh, so if you'll give me one moment, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, yep, I've closed all. Thank you. I so closed much. all the microphones. Sorry about that. Thank you. Um, all right, so um, uh, next item, we have the RTC meeting summary. Um, are there any questions or changes to consider in, in this item? I'll pause. If there's no hands, I'll move on to the next item. 
Uh, I am not seeing any hands raised. Great, thank you. Uh, on to the action items. Item four, discussion of the 2020-2023 Transportation Improvement Program Amendments. Mr. Cottrell. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Todd Cottrell with Dr. Cog staff. Uh, and here to present a one amendment um, to the 2023 Transportation Improvement Program, or TIP. Uh, this amendment was submitted by CDOT Region 1, and they'd like to uh, requesting to amend their Faster Bridge Enterprise Pool. Uh, this amendment would add $34.4 million in state allocated Faster Bridge Enterprise funds. This $34.4 million would add three new projects to FY21 and also increase funding on one existing project in FY20. Um, this amendment also was found to conform with the State Implementation Plan for Air Quality, or SIP. And unless there's any questions or comments, uh, the proposed motion before you would be to move to recommend to the Board of Directors uh, the, the one attached amendment to the 2023 Transportation Improvement Program. Thank you, Mr. Cottrell. Um, Committee members, board members, are, are there any questions at this moment for Mr. Cottrell on this item? Uh, Mr. Chair, it looks like we do have a hand raise uh, from Karen Stewart. Uh, so Karen, oh, looks like the hand went down. So <laughs> maybe change their mind. Oh, nope, went back up. Let's try it. All right, Karen, go ahead. Uh, Karen, it looks like you're self-muted on your end, so you'll need to unmute yourself. Okay, she might be having technical issues. Um, Karen, if you're able to uh, go ahead and type your comment. Oh, there you go. Good work. I move to approve the um, recommendation. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Stewart. Uh, do I have a second? Okay, it looks like we do from Angie Rivera Malpietti. Uh, Angie, go ahead. I'd like to second the motion. Thank you. Um, we have a uh, we have a first and a second. Uh, uh, Ms. Stevens, if you can open up the, all the lines, I will uh, will call for a vote. Okay, everyone or members should be unmuted. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Against. Abstain. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the next action item is discussion on revised motion for taking action on regional Vision Zero plan. Ms. Dalaboa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm Beth Dalaboa. I'm a transportation planner here with Dr. Cog's staff. Um, at last month's RTC meeting, I presented a detailed overview of taking action on regional Vision Zero. Um, there was discussion on the official target of Zero and what year it would be achieved by. Um, the committee ended up recommending to the Board of direct Directors to move to approve adoption of taking action on Regional Vision Zero with the caveat that staff revisit the issue of a specific target date in the 2050 MBRTP process that's currently taking place. Um, this memo explains discussion from the May 20th Board of Directors meeting that led to an action different from the motion recommended by RTC. The board decided it was necessary to have a clearer statement in the plan that states a regional target of zero. Staff has added on page one in the what is vision zero section of the plan that taking action on regional vision zero establishes a target of zero fatalities and serious injuries um, on the Denver region's transportation system. With that statement added in the plan, the new proposed motion is the move to concur with the May 20th Dr. Cog board action related to the adoption of taking action on regional vision zero. Um, just real quick, I wanted to talk about the issue of enforcement that Maureen brought up. Um, I wanted to say that staff <laughs> has looked at each area of the plan where enforcement is mentioned, and where it's mentioned, we did make a point to emphasize equity and empathy, and we'll continue to incorporate these points moving forward. Um, we saw that Safe Routes to School has dropped the enforcement as one of the six E's. Um, we are revisiting what it means to include enforcement and are currently having internal staff discussions on how that will work um, moving forward. Um, with that, I'm happy to further clarify anything or take questions. Thank you, Ms. Delaboa. Um, uh, committee members, if there are any questions or comments at this time, please raise your hand so Ms. Stevens can call on you. 
All right, thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll give everyone just a moment to get those hands up if they have any questions or comments. Okay, and at this time, I'm not seeing any hands raised. Okay, with no questions, uh, I would entertain a motion. Please raise your hand so Ms. Stevens can call on you. All right, thank you. It looks like our first one was from Doug Tisdale. Doug, go ahead. Move the approval of the item, thank you. Thank you, Director Tisdale. Uh, do we have a second? We do, it looks like it's from Ashley Stolzman. Ashley, go ahead. Second. All right, we have a uh, we have a, a first and a second. Uh, Ms. Stevens, can you open the lines so I can call for a vote, please? Absolutely. It looks like uh, everyone should be able to vote. Great. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All those against, please abstain. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Administrative items. Uh, item six, member comments or other matters. If there are any other comments uh, that committee members have, please raise your hand so Ms. Stevens can call on you. All right, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, looks like, I don't know, uh, This it's Nicole Carey, uh, who's one of the admins. Nicole, did you have something you wanted to say? Yeah, this is RTD Director Vince Busick, and for some reason I'm showing up as Nicole Carey, just to make the record clear, I am in in attendance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and outside of that, um, I do not see any other hands raised. Great, thank you very much. Uh, item seven, the next meeting is July 14th, and at 8.43, we are adjourned. Thank you all for attending. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.